Great morning, friends. Jason DeSantis, hashtag Cincy Car Coach, YouTube at Jason DeSantis. Did you know that I could tell exactly what it is you're looking for in life by assessing what it is that you get? What does that mean? You get what you look for. Whether you know it or not, or believe it or not, it's a universal fact. You get what you look for. So if you don't like what you're getting, take a real hard look at what you're honestly looking for. I think most of us lie to ourselves about what we're looking for in life. You get what you focus on. You get what you talk about. You get what you give to people. That's a big one. What's your work environment? I don't know if uh, it's easy. I talk about work a lot because it's probably a work and home, depending on whether you have a family or not that you come home to, is the most relatable thing between us, right? And I try to use illustrations to explain points of this all this craziness I think about. So let's talk about work. I don't know what your work environment is, but if you have a group of people you work with, chances are it's a uh, mixture of personalities. Anybody ever have that one person that you darn well know? The second you say good morning to them, they say something silly like, what's so good about it? There are people that actually say that, but there's people that have that attitude and don't use those words, right? You can't ask them a question without getting a negative response. You know if you say, hey, how was yesterday? Because it was your day off, maybe they were at work. What are they going to tell you? Are they going to tell you how awesome it was or tell you all the frustrations they had? Right? When I look at a person like that, I would have no problem telling them that they are looking for negativity, they are looking for problems, they are looking for frustration, because that's all they talk about, that's all they get. You get what you look for. So, if you want to get something different, focus on something different. You know, a great illustration for this actually. Um, Tony Robbins, who I refer to a lot because I love a lot of the way he explains things and illustrates points. But one of uh, one of the illustrations I've heard him use before, I guess he had uh, done one of those uh, NASCAR racing training camps, or I don't know what you call them, but I guess there's something you could pay for where you learn how to drive a, a car around a NASCAR track at high speeds, dangerous speeds. What he was explaining was that when they train you how to do this, how to take the turns at 150 miles an hour, the biggest, most important thing he said they taught to remember is do not whatsoever glance, even for a split second, at the wall. Look at where you're trying to go. Look around the curve. Not where your car is facing, but where you want it to go. Because at that speed, if you for a split second distract your mind to the wall, you will immediately smash into it. It's a good illustration for you get what you look for. Don't look at the wall. Don't look at what went wrong. Don't look at what might go wrong. Don't look at why this person pisses you off. Look up at the sky. It's beautiful today. That makes me feel a lot better. Look at the good in people. Talk about the good in people. When someone asks you, how's your day going? Or how was your day yesterday? These general how questions. Be conscious about your response. Don't give an answer for them. Give an answer for you. Because the answer you give them is the experience that you get. Because you think if you tell them how horrible your day was yesterday... Do you think they're going to respond with how phenomenal theirs was? No, they're going to match you. And that conversation is going to be a bunch of crap. And it's going to bring you down. And it might not be significant, but that's not the point. It's the little, it's the little defeats emotionally that build up and get in your way of what you're trying to get out of life. But if you make a point to share a story about what went so well yesterday, something that somebody did nice, or that you saw that made you happy, or the accomplishment you had that you're proud of, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to respond in kind. And that's going to be a healthy, productive, and encouraging conversation that's going to springboard you onto your next task of the day. All right? 
So you do get what you look for. And I can tell you what you're looking for by looking at what you get. So if you want it to change, start looking for different things. Talk about different things. Make it a great day.